Hey guys, it's the stream here, and today I'm going to be showing you uh, some quick tips on how to use Paint.net. So, first of all, the main tips, what you want to know. What I think is the most useful is the color wheel. Here you can mess around with the colors and, you know, use your RGBs and uh, switch around everything and do all that stuff. In Paint.net is primary and secondary color like most uh, apps, software for uh, designing stuff. So for example if I want to quickly use uh, a filled outline shape, I can just go like that. It's not very clear since it's a white background. But if I did green and for example uh, yellow, it will fill it with the secondary color or you can you know do different things like dotted lines for the outline you can fill with like for example if you if you want you can do like a weave you know make some nice things I don't I don't really recommend to use the paint.net fill tools so plugins are a lot better you can also switch from anti eyelet uh, aliased or pixelated from here this little circle thing um, and this is also pretty useful history you can either you know do the standard control Z and uh, undo from there or you can just you know click on the arrow tools just click on anywhere between each thing and you can switch from there you can close all of these from the bars or using shortcuts. Uh, for example, if your color wheel disappears, you click on that, or you can click on the shortcut. Cause sometimes you know you miss click on a shortcut, and you know you don't know where the color wheels have gone. So you can create new layers, you can merge layers, and for example, if I go like that, and then I switch this to red. For example, go like that. I can merge these down, and now uh, these are in one single layer instead of normal uh, outside layer so if I was to not merge it it would look like this so clear but you know these are standard stuff I won't I'm going to go straight into you know more complicated stuff uh, only paint.net has or you know some unique features maybe other tools have but this is a free tool so it's quite nice uh, there's a ruler here which uh, which is quite nice because you can really line stuff up if you zoom in you can see all the percentages so if you want you know that pixel or you know whatever because this is four pixels so if I want to do 400 by 2 for example go like that and then you've got it so for example, if I wanted to fill in exactly 100 pixels uh, by one by uh, 400 by one, 100 by one, I would just highlight this whole line till I get to 100, and there, it's gone. There's also grid lines, which are these uh, grids for all the pixelated uh, pixels, which I I don't find useful, but some people might might find it useful. Um, and you know different things like I think some of these might be uh, either the new update or plugins um, I'm not too sure since I've got quite a lot of plugins and um, you know different things might be on and off and um, I'm not really sure about those but basically plugins are very useful so when you're first starting, you won't have a lot of effects in your paint.net. So you will have, you know, simple ones like ink sketch, oil painting, paint sketch, stuff like that. All of the things that marked with jigsaws uh, are plugins. So as you can see, there's quite a lot. You can download these from the official paint.net forums. I'd suggest going for uh, TR, which is quite nice. You can there's a simple. Um, simple keyframe thing which is quite nice and you know just different bits and pieces which are all good uh, to you know edit with 
uh, but you know, Pirate Child is also really good. You know, tons of uh, my favorite uh, options from Paint.net plugins are from him, so you can go download those. But really, just browse around. You know, see your effects and see which ones you like. Uh, a few of things that I think really stand out are, of course, outline object, uh, drop shadow or object shadow, bevel is also quite nice. Uh, you know, align object is one of the most important ones since Paint.net doesn't have um, uh, built-in object line. You can download a uh, yeah, uh, align object off of the plugins. Also, if you want, for example, if I want to do, uh, if I get that square again, if I want to make it so that it's duplicated on the side, I can duplicate a layer and then simply do layers and then flip horizontal, which will just duplicate it onto the other side so it's completely symmetrical. And then do different things through here can rotate it uh, but there's also image rotation so for example if I if I flip this again and I do image uh, and rotate it clockwise it will turn the whole thing over so all the layers will be flipped over you can also basically I, I'd suggest to learn all these uh, shortcuts some of the nice ones to learn are like you know resize and stuff like that but you know if you if you've used other editing software then i'm sure that you'll already know all of these so there's also magic pen or magic wand i think it's called and basically this is the tolerance bit if you click on something you know if you if i want to select this i can you know change my tolerance until i get the one i want and then, you know, you can set this all. For example, if I just want to paint it, if I want to play it just the red, I can just do solid color, and that's it covered. So it's really useful. Stuff, all the stuff like gradient, um, which is quite nice. Color picker, you know, if I want this nice, neat orange, I can do that. Bam. Pencils like the pixelated quality one. So if I if I do white on this for example, I can just do pixel quality. So this is really useful if you want to do you know pixel drawings. Um, so you can do that there with the pencil. And also another neat thing is recolor, which is if I get my gradient back. For example, if I didn't really want this orange. Uh, to red to yellow fade if I want to you know have a blue fade you can just uh, just use real color and then um, you know t for example turn this to 0% and then you can just go like that and it fades from dark blue to lighter blue of course this isn't the best example but you know you get what I mean. And also there's a lot more stuff like lasso, some profile once select you know a uh, bracket like circle hue. You know just simple selections is quite useful. And yeah that's pretty much it. Uh, you can save you save it as .pdn, which can be open in just Paint on it, and might probably not other stuff. But if you're saving as uh, actual picture, you have to flatten these layers. Uh, I would suggest to save a separate one with all the different layers, so you can go back and edit. So, for example, oh, I don't want this uh, fade covering it. I delete it and then I can save it again and you can you know edit changes which are quite simpler quite simply so yeah if you guys enjoyed please give a like subscribe ask 
If you have any questions about Pain.net, make sure to comment down below. I'll see you guys in the next video.